Hi students, welcome back to Neatspire, a space where we build your concepts and you convert them into skills. This is Dr. Farkhanda Sofi and I am here to guide you for your NEET and board exams and make the difficult topics easier for you. So our today's topic will be lung volumes and capacities. Many of you find this topic a bit difficult to understand, so I've tried to make it a bit easier for you. So let's get started. So first of all, we'll study about the lung volumes and capacities and the first one is the lung volumes. See, for example, this is our lung and this is another one. When we are breathing, that is when we are inspiring and expiring. We are not using the whole of our lungs normally. We are not using the whole lungs. So there are some volumes and some capacities which are used only in certain situations okay only in certain types of breathing so what are these types of breathing and how we calculate these volumes and capacities is what we have to study so the first one is the tidal volume okay tidal volume tidal volume jo hai ye ek baseline volume hai hamare lung mein jo hum inspire aur expire kar rahe hote like this see here this between this and this line this volume this is the tidal volume okay we inspire we expire we inspire we expire this is the tidal volume okay and it is about 500 ml there are some definitions for these i am going to write them you don't have to get confused it's very simple see volume of tidal volume is volume of air inspired or expired during a normal respiration. Okay. This is very easy. Ek normal respiration mein jitna volume of air hum inspire karte hai ya expire karte hai usse hum tidal volume kehte hai and that is approximately equal to 500 ml. Okay. So while you are breathing 500 ml of air is going in and 500 ml of air is going out. So this is the tidal volume. That's it. Okay. Now, the next volume, this was the first one. We have four volumes, okay? The next volume is inspiratory reserve volume. Inspiratory reserve volume. Naam se samaj mein aata aapko, inspiratory means at the time of inspiration. Reserve means the, some additional amount of air. So, it is the additional volume of air that a person can inspire. Now, when will you inspire an additional volume of air? Additional volume of air a person can inspire by a forceful inspiration obviously jab aap ek forceful inspiration karoge to aap tidal volume ke additionally kuch aur volume bhi apne lungs mein le sakte ho and that volume is known as inspiratory reserve volume this is very simple and this equals to about 2500 to 3000 ml okay so look here in the diagram the inspiratory reserve volume here this is the inspiratory reserve volume this was a normal respiration okay normal inspiration mein aap 500 ml le rahe the now when this person starts inspiring forcefully okay so a additional amount of air up inspire kar sakte ho and this amount of air is the inspiratory reserve volume third volume will be expiratory reserve volume okay it is the same but opposite of inspiratory it is the additional amount of air a person can expire by a forceful expiration okay same but it is for expiration now see expiratory reserve volume normally we inspire 500 ml and then we expire 500 ml now if th this is a forceful expiration see this person can expire some more amount and this amount is expiratory reserve volume and how much is the expiratory reserve volume it is equal to 1000 or 1100 ml okay so this is very clear, huh? tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume, it is very clear. And now the fourth and the last volume is the residual volume. 
as the name suggests again it is the volume that remains as residue in the lungs even after a forceful expiration theek hai aapne ek forceful expiration kiya and after a forceful expiration what comes out first the tidal volume comes out then the expiratory reserve volume comes out that that was stored as a reserve now this is a residual volume now this is the volume that will still remain in the lungs even after this forceful expiration okay stays in lungs so this is known as residual volume and it is approximately equal to 1100 1200 ml this air cannot be expirated see here it is the residual volume okay forceful expiration ke baad yahan tak aate hain then again he starts inspiring but this amount of air cannot be expired okay this is because this is the point of maximum expiration uske baad nahi so this volume remains here and this is the residual volume so these were the volumes now let's talk about capacities no capacities are nothing but the adding up of few respiratory volumes that we have described first of all we have the inspiratory capacity okay capacity means the total volume okay not a single volume see when we are talking about inspiratory capacity the total volume of air that can be inspired after a normal expiration see first of all you know ek tidal volume we are inspiring already plus i told you we have an inspiratory reserve volume also so this is the total volume jo aap which can be okay this is the maximum volume that can be inspired after a normal expiration okay similarly we'll go for expiratory capacity again the total volume that can be expired after a normal inspiration okay you know the tidal volume that is already being expired then there is a volume jo reserve ke form mein reh raha tha which was the expiratory reserve volume that will be added to this so the total expiratory capacity will be tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume now comes the functional residual capacity or the frc functional residual capacity or the frc again the name suggests it is the volume of air that will remain in the lungs after a normal expiration not a forceful forceful expiration ke baad jo volume of air stays in the lungs that was residual volume okay here after a normal expiration the volume of air that will remain in the lungs is the expiratory reserve volume because normal expiration mein tidal volume you have given out okay now there remains expiratory reserve volume because uske liye aapko forceful expiration karna tha hum ek normal expiration ki baat kar rahe hain to expiratory reserve volume stays there plus there is one volume that always remains in the lungs no matter how forceful the expiration which is the residual volume so it is expiratory reserve volume plus the residual volume which gives us the functional residual capacity okay very good now the next capacity is the vital capacity which is very important and it has been asked many times in the exam so vital capacity is after a forced expiration see after a forced expiration what goes out i've already told you the tidal volume and the expiratory reserve volume go out okay so after a forced expiration how much air a person can breathe in okay a person can breathe in now what what a person can breathe in after a forced expiration first of all the tidal volume plus the inspiratory reserve volume plus in the forced expiration you have also given out expiratory reserve volume you have to fill out that also na so the expiratory reserve volume this is the vital capacity tidal volume inspiratory reserve volume and expiratory reserve volume okay now the fifth one is the tlc or the total lung capacity the total lung capacity is the total volume of air that can be accommodated in the lungs at the end of the forced inspiration ek forced inspiration ke baad it is a total lung capacity so how much your lung can distend and wo hum kab measure kar sakte hain jab hum ek forced inspiration lenge right so after a forced inspiration how much of air a lung can accommodate that is the total lung capacity and see what does it include firstly it will include the tidal volume it will include the inspiratory reserve volume it will also include the expiratory reserve volume and it will include the residual volume which can never go out of the lung so these four things i can also write it as i can write this part as vital capacity plus residual volume 
that is the total lung capacity okay so these are the volumes and the capacities i hope it is very very clear it is very simple i can show it to you here now the capacities see first of all the inspiratory capacity it, it is nothing but the tidal volume plus the inspiratory reserve volume okay expiratory capacity will be the tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume okay this will be the expiratory capacity okay then we read about functional residual capacity c functional residual capacity is the expiratory reserve volume i told you plus the residual volume okay then the vital capacity vital capacity i told you is the tidal volume the inspiratory reserve volume and the expiratory reserve volume so the whole of this part is the vital capacity and then comes the total lung capacity so this is the total lung capacity that is the vital capacity plus the residual volume okay this is a very important diagram and you should know this bit by bit thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video till then keep studying